Hello and welcome. My name is Peter and I'm the one to show you how to add this request a quote in your website. These are, this request a quote function is one of the video series we are doing on if e-commerce website is a add-on we are adding uh, in our free e-commerce website. Yeah, we did create it. You can watch them in the link on the description. We started by creating the free website. After that, we added a payment uh, payment method. After payment method, we did added a variable product. After we added the variable product, we added a wish list function in the website. And on today, we added a, another new function of add a quotation in your website. This is how the function works. You open to a shop, you go to shop, and you select any of your product. If you one of your product and the customer can be able to request a quote on this product and the customer can also be able to select even the variable product and select a variable option like this one and add the product add that uh, variable product in and can also select another variable and add it and customer will only click on this request a quote and customer will only need to add the name his name and the email where he or she want the quotation to be sent a small message and take and send the quote and the quote will be delivered in their email that's the lesson for today I hope it will be a good lesson for you yeah? if it will work for you remember to subscribe to this channel. What you need to do is you go to the dashboard and this scroll to plugin and click on our new. Search for quote. It will work. Look for this one that's called by uh, Y I T H WooCommerce request a quote. It has more than 10,000 active installation. Last updated two months before. Uh, before this tutorial happened so what you need to do is we install this plugin it's a free plugin and it will work for last after successful installation we activate the plugin after successful installation now we have this menu here and we click request a quote yeah here you see request a quote page it has been created or if, if the page has not been created copy this code i'll put this code in the description you just copy it and come to page and you add new name it and paste your short code and publish but because we have the page already created we are not going to create the page for now the next thing we need to do is we set type of button click here if you want a link of you want a button i want a button the quote uh, the button or li the link text let it be add to quote you can change it but make it uh so make give a name that will be easy for customer to notice uh, it is add a quote. It's, uh, this link is to add this product to a quote. If you want to hide add to cart button, just click on it. But I don't want to hide it. Page layout. Let that uh, show the form under the quote list. Let it be like that. From there, the privacy policy. Yeah, activate it. It will be good if you activate it. And save the changes. From there, what we need to do is go to shop and we refresh our page. And we select a product. Scroll down, you see you have add to quote uh, after this uh, after the payment button. So you just select the product you need to add the quote and add to quote. 
you can add as many as you as you wish you can select variety of product you can select open the product and you add to code but how now do you browse it let add add to code on this section here on our menu so what you need to do is you go to dashboard uh, appearance and you go to menu so we come here and select request a code and add it to menu after that make it somewhere to be visible let it be there and save menu after that we refresh our page you can see we have a request to code click on it and you can be able to see the product you have added to quotation uh, the product you need uh, you need in, in your quotation the next thing you need to do is fill in your name fill in your, in your email yeah you can write a message a small message take and send the quote and with that you need to have the quotation in your email and with that your quotation has been sent to your email so that's how you can add, add to quote, uh, a quotation function in your website hope you did learn something if you really did learn something remember cons uh, consider subscribing my channel remember to like this video and share it with your friend turn on notification for you to be notified whenever I post a new video this was one uh, of the video uh, of, of the e-commerce add-on series we are doing uh, on top of the free e-commerce website we did created. Thank you for visiting my channel and welcome again.